So the twins of the, the dental implant crowns. So on the left, we see uh, what we saw before, the abutment, the crown, and the screw. And on the right, we see abutment, the crown, and the screws in the middle. So there's two types of implant crown. One is called a screw retained implant crown because the screw holds everything together. And one is called a cement retained implant crown because the screw only holds the abutment but the crown needs to be glued or cemented onto the abutment after the fact. So the process on the left is abutment, you put the crown on the abutment, and then you screw it all into place in the patient's mouth. And on the right, you have the abutment, you screw the abutment into the patient's mouth first, and then you put the crown, uh, and you put glue in the crown, and you cement it on top of the abutment that's already in the patient's mouth. So let's talk about a little bit of the differences. So obviously, if you have the screw on the, uh, that goes through the crown into the abutment in the patient's mouth, there's going to be a little hole on the top. You need to close that hole. You can't just leave the patient like that. You got to leave. You can't have a hole in the patient's tooth. So you need to fill that hole with the filling material. But what it what allows you to do, it allows you to easily access that screw because over time, let's say 10, 15 years of chewing, sometimes the screw gets a little bit loose. And so when you need to access the screw again, you just drill out your filling and you unscrew the screw and you put a new one in. And or if the crown is chipped or if something happens to the crown, it's easier to replace. Um, and when you put the crown onto the abutment, the glue that holds them together, you do it outside of the patient's mouth. So you don't, you can easily clean it up and there's no, uh, there's no glue or cement that's left over, which can cause an inflammation. Now on the other side, um, if you put the abutment into the implant first, and then you put the crown on, on top, there's no hole on the top. It looks nicer, right? So there's no hole that you have to plug up. And it's, but it's harder to remove if you have to do anything on the bottom. So you actually have to cut the crown off or remove it because it's glued on. You have to cut it off in order to get to the screw and you have to make the patient a brand new crown. So that's a, a little bit of a hassle. Uh, but if an implant is placed in an awkward position, uh, the only way to re-angle the implant and put a tooth on top is through the abutment. So there's a if the implant is is in a funny angle and you can't put a tooth on top the only way you can restore it is by using a special abutment that changes the angle and then you and you glue a tooth on top but the risk here is to is that you're gluing the crown into the patient's mouth in uh, inside their mouth so the glue can get everywhere and you have to make a, do a very good job of cleaning it up because once the glue hardens and it's stuck around the implant inside the gum, uh, the gum is gonna be unhappy. And, and the gum is gonna be angry and you're gonna have inflammation around the implant, which can cause gum disease around the implant.